Uh, news that the NAPFA test will not be a yearly affair anymore had some students cheering on Twitter. Uh, others responded on Facebook, on our Facebook page, worried that the fitness levels among students uh, might go down. Here are some of your comments. Samantha feels that it's important to hold the NAPFA test every year to monitor and maintain the fitness levels of students and she thinks uh, they should make it less strict instead and perhaps incorporate extra sports within the curriculum, which I think is already happening. But Roslina here disagrees. She feels that sports should not be tested and the PE syllabus should help students to enjoy exercise instead. Our well, Casey thinks students should be made to take less academic exams and not less physical tests. And this one is from a student who suggested having the NAPFA tests for secondary 1 and 3 students instead because he says secondary 2 and 4 students already have stressful exams to deal with. Well, let us know what you think. Lots of good ideas. Talk to us on Facebook and on Twitter. But to help us to better understand what's going on, joining us in studio is Mr. Ong Kim Soon, Deputy Director of Physical and Sports Education at the Ministry of Education. So Mr. Ong, thank you for coming in today. Hi. So uh, we heard a lot of views there, but a uh, majority of the, the views online were from parents who were concerned that uh, the fitness levels of the children might go down as a result. Uh, what's your response to that? Yeah, I think really we should be able to look at fitness uh, from a more uh, a broader perspective, a more holistic perspective. Today we do a 2.4 run, for example, a 1.6 to test the child's uh, cardiovascular fitness. but. Uh, that test merely tests the child's fitness at that moment in time. And cardiovascular fitness uh, can drop if you do not sustain it, if you do not keep up the training and the practice. So instead of just focusing on the NAFA test, test per se, what we're trying to bring into the new P curriculum is a lot more activity. And uh, studies are really telling us that uh, uh, fitness that is developed through high participation, regular and active participation in physical activity you can actually raise the children's fitness level and sustain it uh, over a longer period of time that is going to be more beneficial for the child. So we're really not worried about fitness level going down per se, but we're really seeing that if we do it right, then children should be even fitter and uh, that fitness then translate into daily activity and active okay. participation. So you're looking at fitness yeah. for children not as a sprint but more like a marathon? That's right. Interesting. So yeah. how do the changes that you're implementing build on the current PE syllabus in schools then? Yeah, I think to begin with then uh, uh, the PE syllabus that was announced in uh, July this year uh, will then give students a lot more opportunity to learn uh, a wider range of activity. Uh, we brought in outdoor education into the curriculum uh, what we really want to, uh, children to do is learn to be comfortable and enjoy the outdoors. And we're not really talking necessarily about outdoor from an adventure uh, uh, expedition to outdoor, but simply getting out to the parks, enjoying the park connectors, which, I mean, Singapore is so blessed, uh, but our kids are not getting out there enough. So we want them to be able to enjoy the outdoors, get out there and play. And that's what we're hoping to do through the new piece. Because syllabus. kids these days, they're so, uh, they're so into the iPads and the computers yeah. and the internet, they don't really go out as much anymore. That's so right. you're trying to get them to uh, inculcate a love of sports and yes. then bring it home so that they're not just active in schools, but outside of school as well. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Um, when you say a more holistic assessment for PE, what indicators are you trying to measure and how are you going to measure that, for example, values? Yeah, we are really looking at uh, broadening the measure. Today, um, the child goes home with a PE grade and then a NAFA test uh, results that says you pass or fail and you know, these are the things you attain in the NAFA test. We're really hoping to move away from just merely focusing on those to looking at what are the skills that the child has learned in say basketball, in learning a uh, game of badminton, how is the child really performing? Uh, is he able to acquire the skills that is going to enable him or her to then continue playing outside school in a recreational uh, setting? Uh, even when he goes out to work, he is comfortable to say, well, if there's a company uh, in the unit game, he's prepared to say, well, I'm ready to do it because I've done it in school and I'm able to play to a certain level of competency for me to continue playing. I think those are some of the things that we try and look at to ensure that whatever we teach, uh, we really deliver it. So the holistic assessment will then bring about uh, all this measurement. Okay. And if you're looking at the, the values bit, then mm -hmm. it's really about how the child interact with the friends in the PE class, how they help one another, 
how they strive and persevere and be resilient and not give up so easily, uh, even though they may not be good at something, but they press on and they, and they learn and they practice. So better values, better attitudes, and of That's course, right. at the end of the day, a That's lot more right. confidence. Right. Okay. And right. of Thank course, you very, yeah. one of the key things that uh, we're trying to bring in is also the idea of a, self, a reporting of self-directed uh, fiscal activity. Mm -hmm. We thought this might start at least the conversation between the child and the parent okay. to say, hey, uh, what should I choose uh, to play and to participate outside of school? And what we're hoping to do is that from young, we inculcate in the child's mind that uh, I should continue to be active and play outside school, either with my family or my friends. And we start to build that community around the child so that he will sustain the physical activity even beyond school. That's what we're trying to do as well. All right. Thank you very much for coming in today. It was great speaking to you. Yeah. And okay. that was Mr. Ong Kim Soon on changes to the new PE syllabus in schools here in Singapore.